This clip reviews exponential growth, which is an application of exponential equations. The problem asks, if there are 200 bacteria in a dish and the population doubles every 8 days, what is the population after 10 days? You will notice the problem at the bottom of your screen. This is for you to complete after we go through the solution for this given problem. Let's start off by highlighting the important information in the question. So we know that we start with 200 bacteria. So this is the population when time equals zero, also known as the initial population. We know that the population doubles every eight days. And then we want to find out what the population will be after ten days. Okay, now we're going to define our variables. So we're going to let P of T represent the population. And I'm going to define my general formula, so for any time t. So p of t is equal to 200. And this 200 comes from here. It's our initial population of the bacteria times 2. This 2 comes from, because the population doubles, so we have a 2. And the 2 is to the exponent t over 8. This exponent, t over 8, represents the number of doubling periods. And that is equal to the total days divided by the number of days to double. So in the general formula, we don't know what t is. It could be any time period, but that would be the total days that we've let the population grow. And in this given problem, we know that it doubles every eight days. Okay, so now we want to find what the population would be after 10 days. So we're going to sub in 10 for t. So we want to find p at 10 is equal to 200 times 2 to 10 over 8. So what this exponent means is that in 10 days, there are approximately 1.25 doubling periods, because 10 divided by 8 equals 1.25. So in 10 days, the population will double 1.2 times. So we go to our calculators, and you punch in 2 to the exponent 1.25, and multiply it by 200, and you should get a number of approximately 475.7. So the last thing we need to do for the word problem is to write a concluding statement. So therefore, there are approximately 476 bacteria after 10 days. Okay, now I'd like to try like you to try your problem and see what solution you come up with. Your answer to the problem is shown there in the blue. So this is how you would go through and solve a problem of exponential growth. 